Welcome to Jesus Calling for August 17th. Find me in the midst of a maelstrom. All right, let's take a look here. The verses are Philippians 2, 9 to 11 and Isaiah 43, 1. Philippians 2, the chapter title is Imitating Christ Humility. And I'm going to jump down to verse 4. Each of you should not look only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking on the very nature of a servant. Now we get to verse 9. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and the earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. I just love that verse. I love Isaiah 43. I have the first couple verses memorized. I'm just going to share this with you. But now, this is what the Lord said. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Isn't that an awesome passage? It's Isaiah 43. I encourage you to memorize it too. It just brings so much comfort to me. Find me in the midst of a maelstrom. Sometimes events swirl around us so quickly and they become a blur. Whisper my name in recognition that I am still with you. Without skipping a beat in the activities that occupy you, you find strength and peace through praying my name. Later, when the happenings have run their course, you can talk to me more fully. Accept each day as it comes to you. Do not waste your time and energy wishing for a different set of circumstances. That was good. I need that. Let's rewind. Do not waste your time and energy wishing for a different set of circumstances. Instead, trust me enough to yield to my design and purposes. Remember that nothing can separate you from my loving presence. You are mine. And that's so true. That's why I love that passage of Isaiah. I've called you by name. You are mine. I mean, even when other people leave us or friend groups, you know, even as adults, right? Sometimes friends can still be snickety or whatever. And a lot of times you're not, you don't fit in or you don't know where you're going. Remember, you are his. He has called you by name. He knows you by name and he loves you. And in the midst of all your whirling and swirling today, just be calm and speak out to him because he's listening, because he knows you by name. Have a wonderful day, my friend. We'll see you tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.